Hey guys, it's Maddie. I am back today with part two of my Good Friday half off day thrift haul. If you missed part one, I will go ahead and link it down below. Um, for part two, I went to two different stores. Um, so total that day, I ended up going to three. Part one has all from one store. This is from two different stores, and I was honestly, like, astonished by what I found because it was, like, I kept finding good thing after good thing after good thing. Um, so I just want to go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up, and I will let you guys know if I would have picked this up, like, on a half-off day or not. So let's go ahead and get into this. So in the last haul, I mentioned that I had never found this brand at a thrift store before. And so I was like really excited when I found it. Um, and the brand is one of my favorites, Ted Baker. Um, and you guys can see I did mark it as new with tags, which it doesn't have like the retail tag, but it has this. And I don't know about you guys, but when I wear a dress, I don't leave in that little thing. But it's this gorgeous black dress. Like, it's a perfect staple. It's got these beautiful, like, pleated detailing on the side that's going to be, like, really flattering. It's a Ted Baker size 3, um, which is, like, an 8 or a 10. And then on the back, it has this rose gold exposed zipper. So this is, like, super beautiful, um, pristine condition. And I was shocked to find this brand for the second time that day. If you guys want to see what I found um, to buy Ted Baker and the first time check out part one and then I found another really gorgeous dress um, the stock photo does it way more uh, justice than the photo that I took did so I did end up using that on it if you guys go and look so it's beautiful it's like this kind of like brick red color it's got the um, drop down little neckline there and then the most adorable thing in the world it's got these tie straps um, and then it cinches in at the waist, and then it's a really long maxi style skirt or midi, I'm not really sure. And the brand on that is La Vie by Rebecca Taylor. Um, I do not always pick up Rebecca Taylor pieces, but because it was half off day and I thought this was really cute and really good for the springtime based on the color, I did go ahead and pick it up. And if you guys are interested, this is a size large and I've received quite a few offers on this, but I'm holding out for a certain number. Um, next is a brand that I pretty much never pick up, but I thought this was really cute and it was new with tags, so I went ahead and took a risk. It's this owl sweater, so it's not really the right season, but I personally pick up things all year long. It's by French Connection, and it's a size small, and it's a really beautifully, nicely made sweater. It's made of wool, so I might have to wait on this one, but I figured, you know, it was worth it, and if you guys can see, it retailed for $148, I think. $138 um, brand new with tags so you know especially on half off days it's like why not um, next is something that I would not have picked up but it was again half off so um, next is this plenty by Tracy Reese dress here's what that tag looks like um, and this brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. it's a really pretty dress again it probably would do better in like um, the holiday season so it's gorgeous it's got sequins all throughout um, I've never picked up this brand before but I've heard like mixed reviews so we'll see how it does it does not have a size tag so I just included measurements but really pretty um, it would probably go to like your knee or mid length and then the last like dress um, romper situation is something that I wouldn't have picked up unless it was really inexpensive or like today it was half off. And it is like this boutique brand. Um, the brand on it, it's brand new with tags. It's called Nextima or Nextmia. I'm not really sure. Fashion, I've never heard of it before, but I did go ahead and pick it up because it's in a um, US 22, which is plus size, which is really hard to find. And it's got a really unique print. This is a romper. Um, so you can see it's the American flag. And then on the back, it's got a keyhole style detail. So I thought it was like really unique. It cinches in at the waist. 
that's got pockets um and so i might have to wait until like fourth of july or something but i figured someone would be interested in this maybe as a swimsuit cover-up or you know they're feeling really festive and they want to wear something of the sort and i found that american flag print like this is really popular because obviously we have so many holidays where we put on our red white and blue Moving on now to activewear. Um, so I actually found this. This is my first time finding this brand. I never would have even known about it except for I watch hauls. So that's why you should really watch hauls. Um, but I saw this when I was in line at one of the stores waiting for the checkout. Like the line was crazy. It wrapped around the whole entire store. And I almost didn't wait in it. But I was like, oh, I don't know. I have some good pieces. I don't have anything else that I'm really doing today. I might as well. And so I saw this in the kids section, which I pretty much never pick up kids clothes, but I was like, that's a really nice made jacket. I wonder if it's this brand. And so I took a look inside and it was, so I think it's called Iviva. Um, so it's Lululemon Kids and it even says Iviva by Lululemon, if you guys can see. And so um, I could just kind of tell it's a tropical print. It's a really beautiful color. It's got their little like um, diamond shape on there, which is what they're known for. And then the back is just plain. It is a girl size 14, which I've heard will fit a Lululemon size 2 or a Lululemon extra small. So really well made jacket. It's even got like the thumb holes and everything. So I am glad that I saw this while I was waiting in line. So I did get to do something productive because I didn't have any service because I like would have refreshed all my listings, but I didn't have any service. So I was literally just standing there like doo -doo -doo, waiting for this really long line, kind of like people watching as I did that. What do you guys do if you don't have service and you're waiting in line? I don't know. I don't know. Moving on though. Um, I have not had success with this brand, which is kind of sad because this is like one of my own personal favorite brands, but I did decide, again, half off day, might as well give it a try. It's this tennis skirt or running skirt, I'm not really sure, it's actually a skirt, and it's by Zella. Um, so here is what theirs looks like. It's a size large, it's really cute. I thought maybe, especially because it's white, that it would be sought after because I know a lot of people really like white workout clothes. It's got um, this in the back to hold your keys, and then it's a little mesh paneling on the side. And then underneath it has shorts, so it is a skirt. Um, so far it hasn't received like any interest, but I'm hoping you know someone will want this. It's a good size, so we'll see. Now on the other end of the spectrum, this has received quite a bit of interest, and it's really why I stood in that long line is because I had this in my hand. Um, and it is a Lululemon skirt and it's in this beautiful light blue, like Tiffany blue color. And it's um, a running skirt. Like I ended up looking up and I was successful in finding the style on Lulu Fanatics. And it's got um, ruching on one side and it's really, really cute. It's a size eight and it's still got the tag inside so that's cool and then again on the back it's got a little place for your keys um so there's shorts underneath as well so this has gotten a lot of attention so far with my lululemon stuff like i try to price it like pretty pretty affordable and pretty like fairly like if it's an older style i'm gonna price it like pretty inexpensive if it's a newer style you know i'm gonna go for like a mid-range i'm not gonna ask for like a hundred dollar for the skirt to me that's just silly my goal is like to flip things as quickly as possible but you know also being sensible about like what i'm asking so i'm not gonna ask you know ten dollars for this but i'm not gonna ask 75 because it's not brand new with tags i think right now i have it listed for 30 so for me that's like my goal is to sell it quickly but sensibly so that's what i decided on um, the next piece is a brand that I've never tried before, but I've heard good things about, and it's Seven by Melissa McCartney, McCarthy, and here's what that tag looks like. Um, so it's a collaboration, and it's plus size. So this is a size, I want to say, 1X, and they had it in the dress section, but I looked up stock images of it, and I see it's actually like a longer sweater. And it's got a cat and it just says lay meow and it's really cute um 
So we'll see how that ends up doing. The back is just like plain, but I've heard good things about the jeans from this brand. I haven't heard anything about tops, but we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, next was me like going really fast, not really looking at the size. I am not one of those people that won't pick up a size if it's small because like everyone needs to shop and we're all different shapes and sizes. But I will admit that largest, larger sizes do tend to move a little bit quicker. Um, this is an anthropology piece, which I told you guys in the other video that I do not always pick up anthropology. Normally I'll just pick it off, up if it's like half off. Um, this is postmarked by anthropology, so the tag looks like this. And the size is an extra, extra small petite, so that's very particular. So I don't know that I would have picked it up, but I was in a bit of a hurry at this thrift store. It's really cute. It's got stripes on the top and long sleeves. And then at the bottom, it's like this floral. So really, really cute, but phew, sorry, I keep sneezing in these videos. Really cute, but I just don't know like how long it'll sit because of the size. Um, next is a good bread and butter for me. And it's these Harley Davidson tops. So this is um, one that has like a skull on it. And these don't sell for like a whole, whole lot, but they will go anywhere from like $15 to $20. And they tend to generate a lot of interest. I have noticed that small sizes do take longer, but like the XL um, really moves fast. So here's what that looks like. And this one is an Oklahoma City, Oklahoma shirt. Um, so we'll see what type of attention that one gets. Um, again, another anthropology brand. This is Anthropology Tiny. This is a size small and it's like this patchwork green shirt and then I thought this was really cute. On the back it's got like this little floral patch and we'll see how it does. It's long sleeve so it may sit for a little bit. Next is a brand that I I want it to do well but it just doesn't really do that well. It's the North Face. So this is a size medium. Here's what the North Face tag looks like. Um, now that Patagonia has come out, that's just kind of taken over and now North Face just like isn't as relevant. Personally, I like North Face better, but I'm not the buyer, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's this really pretty blue color. It's just kind of one of their more basic ones. Um, it's got the North Face on the side here. It's kind of hard to see. And then the back is just plain, but it's not like really thick or lined or anything. So I don't expect like the greatest return in the world on it, but someone will want that. Um, moving on to shorts now. This next pair of shorts, it's the craziest thing in the world to me, but people are really, really interested in it. I only pick up this type of pattern when it is a half off day because it will sell quickly, but it will not sell for a lot. And it's these American flag shorts. So the stars are right here and then on the sides we have the stripes and then the stars again on the back. So normally the brands are all different. This one is um, Peach Love, I think, Peach Love. But I've sold it from all different brands because a lot of places make similar shorts. And for whatever reason, people really want them. I found some with like the Texas flag on it and those sold really fast. Again, like 15, 20 bucks, but they sell quickly, friends. Next is something I absolutely would not have picked up, but again, half off day sale. And it's these Mossimo, which is sold at Target, high rise shorts. And why I really liked these is because they're a cutoff style and then they have that like really pretty embroidery on the side there. And then the back is pretty plain. Also the fact that they're high rise, that's still very much so on trend. Um, so these are a size 8 or a size 29. So again, not crazy money, but because they're cute, I did think that they would get some sort of return. Another pair of shorts are these American Eagle Outfitters. Um, they are the High Rise Festival Shorty, so you'll always be able to find it right here. Um, these go pretty quickly. They always generate a lot of interest. I found these in different colors. I found these with different types of distressing. It doesn't matter. People are interested. Um, this particular pair is very tiny. This is a 
size two. I thought these were double zero. These are size two, and here's what they look like on the back as well. So those should go pretty quickly, anywhere from twenty to like thirty dollars. Um, the next pair of shorts is a brand that I don't pick up unless I think they're really, really, like, on trend. Normally, just dress and cut off is what I look for when I go for shorts, and it's Hollister. These are a size zero, and they're kind of like a mid-wash with all that distressing, and then the back is plain. Um, probably wouldn't have picked up, but they are half off. Again, a size zero, um, Hollister shorts, and these are a lighter wash more cut off instead of rolled, more distressed, and then on the back it's plain again. I considered bundling those two pairs of shorts, but I ultimately decided against it. All right, last pair of shorts, of women's shorts. I do have one pair of men's shorts. Um, these are the Lucky Brand shorts. They're in a size four, and these are the Riley short. Um, Lucky Brand pants don't do very well for me. The clothes and shoes are hit or miss, but pants and jeans not really about it but their shorts for whatever reason generate a lot of attention so I'll go with it so it's this really fun like um, orange color and their cut off style and then some more like just cut off there um, next I found these in with the women's stuff and the only reason why I picked them up is they were new with tags um, so I've heard that polo does well if it's like a larger size. So this is Ralph Lauren polo and it's just again kind of the same color as the last pair of shorts. These like chino style shorts. They are a classic fit six inch short and they're in a size I think 42. Yeah they're in a size 42 for the waist. So again, I never really look at the men's stuff, but these were in with the women's things, so I did pick those up. Um, next is Level 99, which I only pick up on half days, half off days. These are sold at Anthropology. Level 99, this is the Janus Ultra Skinny, and it's just a floral pattern. I'm not really sure how it will do. I don't know if floral is like in or not. Another pair of jeans, another level 99. These are a size 29, and these ones are like really distressed. Um, we'll see how they do. They again seem to be like a skinny leg. Next is a pair of jeans that I'm like kind of weirdly in love with, and it's by Bowden, which Bowden's pretty hit or miss. It doesn't really resell for a lot. So I really like these jeans, so I probably would have picked them up, even if it was full price. But um, typically, Bowdoin I don't pick up unless it's really cheap. These are a size US 4, and why I love these is like, seriously, look at that gorgeous embroidered floral pattern. And then on the leg, it's got it as well. So I just thought these were really fun and kind of like retro looking. Um, next pair of jeans, again, this is in the women's section. I think they thought they were women's plus size because they were on the, they were like the right size, just women's. So these are um, Adriano Goldsmead or AG jeans. And these are the graduate and these are men's, like I said, and they're just like a dark wash. I've heard that these do well, but again, I don't really sell men's clothes, so I'm not really sure. And then I found these pair of Hudson jeans, which Hudson, you don't pick up unless it's half off. I keep up, feel like this haul, I just keep saying that. So Hudson, they are like a really dark purple, and I typically don't pick them up unless they have the flap style butt. And then a pair of Madewell jeans. Here's the Madewell tag. Madewell drives me insane. They don't really resell for a lot, but some people, I guess, can get more money. I just cannot. Sometimes they'll get a lot of attention. Sometimes they won't get any attention. I can't figure it out. So probably wouldn't pick these up, but they are half off. So these are a size 6. They're this skinny, skinny ankle, and they're in this gorgeous, like, lilac color. Sorry, everything's so wrinkly. But we'll see how they do. I don't know. I haven't figured out made well.
And then I went on a whole rant in the last video about Miss Me jeans. And so I do have another pair of Miss Me jeans that I found. These are in a size 25. They are the boot cut. Um, they're in really good condition. I know in the last haul, the ones I found were not in great condition, but these are. And then here is what that butt pocket looks like. I always make um, my cover photo just the butt pocket because that's really what people are looking for when it comes to Miss Me's. All right, two pairs of shoes and some bags to show you guys, and then we will wrap this up. So this next pair of shoes, I absolutely would not have picked up if it was full price. And it's these pair of Ohio State pumps. They were like in crazy good condition. Someone that went to Ohio State or is a fan will hopefully pick them up. But I mean, even the bottoms, you can see really good condition. Um, size seven and a half. Someone... I don't even know what their mascot is, or I would say, like, go that person. Someone will pick these up. And then, last pair of shoes are these UGG um, sneakers. They're, like, fur line, and they are a little beat up on the toes, which I did disclose, but otherwise, they're, like, in pretty good condition. These are a size 8.5. <clears throat> and then two bags and we'll be done. So neither of these bags had a brand, but I thought they were both like really clean and really cool. So I really like this one. This is like this really gorgeous beaded elephant bag. Like seriously so gorgeous. The back is plain and then it's just got little straps. So all it says on the inside is made in China. So it doesn't really give me anything to go off of, but the inside is like super, super clean. And then this one has generated like a good amount of attention for as long as it's been posted. Um, I thought it was really cute. It's this fringe like cheetah purse. So all the little fringes on the side. It's got a longer strap, you can adjust it. And then on the back, it also still has some more of that cheetah. And then it's like a good, you can fit a good amount of stuff on the inside, but absolutely super clean. Cannot argue with that. It's on trend. So hopefully that will do well. If you guys are interested in anything that you saw here, I will link my Poshmark down below. That's everything I have to share with you guys. Please feel free to promote yourself down below as well. Try and check out your channel and your closet. Um, we can, I always say this, we can always learn from each other. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.